What's poppin' everybody? This is Saber who finally four. Got a TCG match with Boss Terra Firma, the Torterra EX deck that I've made, as I'm still waiting for the component to come that turns an SSD into an external hard drive so I can get my assets back. Hopefully you guys never have to deal with something like that, but it's a big pain. Now, opponent flip the coin and uh, decide what you're gonna do. Gonna go first, good, that's how we like it. I mean, with the Torterra deck, I can, it, it's fine if I play first, it's fine if I play second, as long as we open with the right cards. Like, of course, I don't mind playing first if I'm going to open up with, you know, the Turtwig and the Torterra and a Rare Candy, then, yeah, if we can do that, then it's good. But if not, you know, playing second, using Arvin, getting the TM and evolving through our Pokemon that way, it's going to work out too. I suppose, I mean, well... If you play first and you can't get the um, Torterra and then you just go into Grottle next turn, you're still too slow. Um, it means that you're not making an attack. But if I play second at least, you know, I can get to the Grottle, then it's guaranteed I'll be able to make an attack next turn, get into Torterra. Now, my opponent is playing a very annoying deck that I haven't really showcased too much on this channel because I have a pretty bad time with it with all the decks that I use and... Uh, the few times that I do good against it, it's like a five minute match where they just break and you destroy them. It's a very annoying deck with the Tsarina, like the big Tsarina EX, Terra 1, Crystal 1, whatever it's supposed to be. And it's annoying, but it can be effective when they make it work. When you got big retreating Pokemon, and they pull your stuff, you have trouble really attacking. And... I always got to change up my game plan when I play against this deck because just doing things conventionally doesn't work against it. You got to just make sure you do things differently. Um, basically, they run the big Serena EX, then they try and run some kind of consistency card. I guess in this case it's Pidgeot. Other times I've seen a Barrel. Maybe don't even run any of them at all. And then you get into the EX, you make attacks to put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. Basically until they got like 30 HP or 40 HP less. You put the tool where they can attack the Serena, and then it's a pain in the ass. Uh, there's also a Stadium they can use. There's like the um, Vanillux you can try and use with it as well. It's just a deck that's very annoying, but very inconsistent too. Like you need a lot of pieces. And of course the Braviary is after you softened up a bunch of your opponent's Pokemon, you attack with a Breviary, kill everybody in one go, and then you win. Something like that. Now, uh, Radiant Serena is actually a good counter to this deck. Um, any deck that I've used that I do have it in, it is going to mess with them, because they make that attack to just try and be immune to you when they attach that tool, the little mask thing, and you got... 30 HP or less, but with Serena you can just heal and then it works out. Another thing that you can do that you sort of change your strategy up is uh, you let them make the attack on your Pokemon before you evolve and then you evolve and then the damage doesn't matter and then you can still make an attack. So it just it depends on a lot of things, you kind of have to time things right. Now. Opening up with Serena, it's it's always another thing too. Like every time I play against this deck, I always got to open up with a high retreating Pokemon too. So it's awkward for me to just respond quickly and then they get more time to set up. So I put the second energy in the Serena. I am going to have to just retreat, uh, lose energies which are valuable in this deck. And uh, I'm not really going to be able to do much. <sighs> There is the Barry too. Take this out for a worker. Don't be bad like me. Worker is better in this deck. Now, I I didn't do anything again. And um, I hope he doesn't kill the Radiant Serena. All he needs is another energy, but he also needs to retreat. So he did put the energy there, and he is going to... Go ahead and, I guess, attack with Serena EX. Quite the annoying Pokemon. It's a water type too. It uses grass energies, but it's a water type, so they can use Irida to quickly fetch it with a candy. 
So they got that thing going on. And the hand trimmer, damn, I hate this car too. I don't see it often, of course, but it's annoying. So you got that little discard out of my hand. And Icicle Soul, 110 damage. So if I would have attacked with Serena, I wouldn't do any damage, thanks to that stupid mask thing. Now, if we had an effective, you know, tool removal card like Field Blower, Tool Scrapper, just anything, this deck wouldn't be this bad. But because we only got like the Lost Vacuum, and I don't like running that card because you got to discard a card from your hand, and you just get one, one removal, it's not really as effective as something like Field Blower. But, you know, that's what the standard format is about. You got to use what they give you. But I opt not to use it. And besides in these sort of situations, I've never really needed it much. So I don't have it. So that guy's stupid mask is going to stick around. Okay. We're going to discard. Well, I guess I'll discard an Ultra Ball. Get more Grass Energies. And I want to save the switches because they're going to be valuable too. This guy is going to try and get me stuck as well. Do that sort of crap. And I do evolve into the Torterra. We're going to make one big attack no matter what we do. This is going to be a two-hit KO um, job on the EX. But on the bright side, once I do hit it, then he's not going to be able to do that much. He can just use the second attack and do some damage and then heal a little bit but it's still a 2 hit KO and I'd rather him do that to be honest trade hits until I kill him because I just need I just attack with one energy and he needs two plus it's just him getting his Pokemon out is going to be more difficult now it's up to him what he's going to do of course if he attacks the Torterra then I can't attack with it I'm going to have to switch and that's where the switch is going to come in he goes for a research, discarding the Pidgeotto, the Pidgeot EX, and a few other things. He did get the Braviary. Gets a Pidgeot EX out anyway. So he'll get that free card every turn now. Oh, he got into this place once again because I had to open up with the Tarina and just waste time attaching energy just to retreat. Every time I play against this deck, well, almost every time. I gotta give him like the all the time in the world because this deck isn't very consistent it's annoying but it's a very inconsistent deck because of all the Pokemon you have to run all the tools and stuff um, you don't really have any energy acceleration on the Serena so it can be very inconsistent but at the same time if it starts working then it's gonna be hell that's why people use it now then, gets a few energies with the vessel. Gonna put one on the Steny, I think. Those sort of effeminate Pokemon. And uh, he is gonna retreat. Oh no, actually no, he attacks, obviously. So 310, I'm down to 30 HP and I can't attack. Well, actually I can. I can't forget about the Radiant Serena. We can do this trick and that's why this Radiant Serena, ironically, is a counter to the Serena EX. So I'm going to be able to attack yet again, kill this thing. And I'd rather just do this instead of just switching and burning the switch. Maybe he'll try and get me stuck and I'll need that. Eventually that always happens. So I'll go with the Barry. Wasn't a stadium to discard anyway, so I guess Walker didn't matter. But... Get the kill. We're going to get the first two prizes. One threat is out of the way. And uh, he's obviously going to promote one of the other bitches. Evolve into them. And then I'm guessing he's going to kill the Torterra. As opposed to just softening up something else. We'll see what he does. Uh, another Steny comes out. Um, as long as I got the Radiant Serena on the bench. This little stupid tactic isn't going to work. Because I'm always just going to heal and then be able to attack. The whole thing this deck does is it's just going to make you unable to attack. And that's uh, that's where you struggle. So Jack gets Serena EXs, evolves into, evolves into 
the other one. I guess next turn he's going to evolve into the other one too. Um, N can be annoying right now if he starts using that, but I can get what I need with Grottles at the end of the day. Get the stage twos. So all he does is get the kill. That's it, which is fine. I'm guessing he grabbed the boss's orders to use next turn, perhaps to kill the Serena. But if he does that, I still get a free shot in. And then we're just going to outpace him eventually, which is perfect. So, nest ball, nothing really to grab, but I am going to play um, another Shroomish down, make sure we have a full bench. That is paramount, otherwise I don't get a 2 hit KO on this thing. You know, just one Pokemon makes the night, a night and day difference. You know, minus 32 times. 300 and 360 is just a night and day difference to kill a stage 2 EX Pokemon. And I'll use Cynthia to not draw a lot of stuff, but I don't really need to do much. Let's get rid of things we don't need. We're going to get the energy. Because I had to sacrifice two in the beginning, two for no reason. So I'm looking really good. Uh, for once, I can do good against this deck. Not for once, but depending on the deck you use, it's, just com it's pretty much going to be an auto loss sometimes. Where I just scoop immediately against it. Now, he did pull the Serena. I'm not surprised. He just wants to get out of the way to do his little combo. But by the time you even try and make use of this, I, I'm saving the switch. You can't target everybody. I got a bunch of Torterras lying in wait. And I'm just going to keep doing 180 turn after turn. And then you're going to lose. So, I'm in a very good position still. Plus, it's kind of awkward for him, you know, killing the Serena. Uh, he gets one prize now, so I'm pretty sure what he's going to want to do is kill a Torterra and then kill something else small. Fine. So evolve into the Breloom and get another Shumish down. I mean, he wanted to do this to get rid of Serena because it's obviously a thorn in his combo, but also because... You know, if I hit for 150, I wouldn't get the kill on this thing. It has to be 180. But we did it. I did have extra grass Pokemon. If this deck isn't going to be getting KOs, we have enough of them to play down for spares. So, just two more prizes to get. All I got to do is kill one of these damn Tarina EXs. I got the boss's orders in hand. Um... Iono would be annoying, but we'll get by. I mean, my deck is thinned out too. Plus, if he does this, it means that he can't really draw stuff. Uh, he has mostly the stuff he needs. The Serena is out. I mean, I guess if I hit it, he would want to retreat and maybe use another one to keep going. But I don't know. Gets another one of those uh, little small cherry things down. And is going to go for that Iono. I mean, I know that people, most people pronounce it Iono, but I like to say Iono. That's how I'm used to it. Anyway, we get the Prime Catcher too. That's going to be another one of my great outs to beat this dude. This and Boss's Orders is going to do the job. So, once he attacks, I am going to have to retreat the Torterra because we can't use Serena to heal anymore. Sadly. But then once I attack that thing, he's going to have to switch and he's not going to be able to, you know, make the two energy attack on the other ones. I'm guessing he's going to start struggling with the energies too. Just guessing. Okay, so here goes. We're going to use Grottle. I will, well, I think uh, I'll get the Grottle, evolve into the Grottle and get the Torterra this way, sort of thin our deck a little bit more. I got rare candy still, but I mean, it's just no point saving these guys up right now. He didn't really target them. Okay, here goes. Switch, and then I'll kill this thing too, since there isn't really any other target. And if I kill this thing too, his plan goes to hell in a way as well, because he sort of needs this to finish me off. 
So instead of just hitting something like the pigeon and then he retreats, I'm going to kill this thing. And then with the boss's orders, I can just kill one more small Pokemon and we just get the job done. I would like to hit the EX, but I wasn't able to. We still got boss's orders. So if he doesn't mess with my hand, I should win next turn. He goes for that Arvin. That's exactly what I want to see. So I think we should be good. You know, he has to get that little tool mask thing. And uh, he did get rare candy, I believe. So quick search. Get another stage 2 EX out if you want, but it's not going to matter. All I need is just to kill one of the small Pokemon. You got plenty of liabilities there. And we're good. Okay, so he does go for it. And by the way, this isn't going to work if I pull something that doesn't have the mask. So we don't even got to worry about switching again. So boss has orders. And it's a GG, my friend. I did everything right. Thank God I had all the answers. And uh, we get a victory. He goes GG. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I don't like playing against this deck, though. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the match, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What I?